Hello, this is Bastian from Shonko Music and in this video I want to show you how I install an expansion board into my Yamaha samplers. Yes, I have two of these SU700. Uh, the cards are very rare, so you have to look uh, on the aftermarket maybe, but I don't know how the street price is. Often it is so that you mostly have a better chance when you buy this complete with another sampler unit. So I bought two Yamaha A3000 samplers and I removed this card and I put them into my SU700. For my setup it is better, it makes more sense. Maybe I will do a video about that and show you how these samplers function and how I will use them. So if you want to install it, it is very simple. You can see it here in this video. If you can put a card into a PC, this is the same way here. So the only thing is if you have the SCSI module installed, you have to remove it to put the power supply on the circuit board. You will see it in more detail in the next seconds. So I'm checking here after I installed it and everything looks fine. So this one is finished and this is good. Now I have this sampler with the SCSI module and the IO expansion board. It makes me happy. This is how it should be, <laughs> in my opinion, when you have stuff like that. Because I want to sample also digital, so then you need the I.O. expansion board. And also I can tell you some stuff about the A4000, A5000 and A3000 if you want to use also the SU700, because there's some interesting about the formats. Of this sampler. In this unit I have a SCSI to SD adapter, it's the version 6 and it functions very well. And in the other one is the original floppy disk drive. So, But you can share this adapter with the SCSI cable. So maybe I will do a video about that. So yes, and now I'm also installing the IO extension board. I'm removing here the SCSI module for the power supply you need the ports on the circuit board, so it's better to handle that if you remove the SCSI module. So I want to use these samplers not for complete tracks, but I'm also searching for some creative tools to make grooves or to manipulate samples or only as an add-on for some other tracks. So for me also very interesting is the old technique and it remembers me to old days that musicians had so much limitations and made so much great music and did a lot of stuff. So in these days it can be very easy to make music with AK4s, AKMPC, Native Machine, all the DAWs and the VST plugins. So in my opinion maybe these limitations from the hardware and maybe the structure can give you some inspiration for your creation <laughs> and yes uh, i will i will look what can i do with this i say thank you for watching and bye bye